Um, I have been on five trips to El Salvador. Um, my very first trip was when I was a senior in high school. Um, we went with our church youth group and um, it was only for a week, but it was like the most fun week I've ever had. Um, I was terrified going um, at first because it's a foreign country and I had never been out of the United States before um, and they speak Spanish and I had taken a few high school classes but was not at all confident in my ability to comprehend. Um, but it turned out being the most incredible week that I have ever had. Um, and then I keep going back um, as often as I can just because I I'm just absolutely in love with the environment and the people. Um, yeah, and the Lord never fails to give me a new amazing experience every time I go. SHIP has impacted my life in probably more ways than I even know right now. Um, but probably one of the biggest ways that it has impacted me is just opening my eyes to what I can do when I step out of my comfort zone and just um, do what the Lord is asking me. Um, and just, even if that is something that scares me out of my pants, um, I can do it because I, um, I've i seen myself do it now in El Salvador. I've just seen myself do so many things that I never thought that I would. Um, and now I just really have a confidence that when I am following the Lord, I really, um, there's nothing else, else that I could need. Um, I think there's a lot of similarities and differences um, to life in the United States and El Salvador. Um, I think some of the similarities are we both um, myself and my friends who are my age from El Salvador, we love to listen to music, hang out with our friends, eat lots of yummy food, make jokes. Um, but I think that one of the main differences is that sadly a lot of my friends in El Salvador have to live in fear um, almost all of their lives um, due to just problems and dangers in the community um, and just also maybe having a fear of not um, knowing if they have what they need for the day. Um, and I think that that translates into difficulties in school and difficulties in maybe finding a job when they grow older. Um, so I think that that's one of the main differences that I've sadly have to see. My family and I sponsor Mel Keen. He's a teenage boy um, and he is just super fun and it's been <clears throat> incredible to see how he has grown over the years as I have gotten to know him and just um, gotten to be his friend. Um, kind of at the beginning he was a little scared of me and just um, not really sure about what, um, what I was doing there or why I wanted to be in his life. Um, but as I have gotten to um, come back time and again and we've gotten to just show him that we care for him and want to see him know the Lord and do well. Um, that relationship has just blossomed and it has been really cool. My life perspective has definitely been um, changed a lot by being in El Salvador. I um, I think that whenever I would go throughout my day before going to El Salvador, my focus would be on myself and what what do I need to be doing next? Oh my goodness, what is happening with everyone around me? Um, and why am I not a part of it? And now that I have been um, just in the environment of El Salvador so many times, I find myself um, almost always thinking now just the complete opposite of what is everyone else doing um, around me and how can I just like be a part of their lives and see um, see how they're doing and how they are growing with the Lord because in El Salvador they truly care about relationships over any kind of schedule or um, timetable. As um, anyone who's been there knows, if you plan an event, they'll show up about an hour and a half after you tell them to. Um, but that is because they truly care about um, their relationships and their friendships over um, just any kind of schedule and just um, events. So I think that that has been one of the biggest ways that my perspective has changed. I think that the thing that means the most to me about SHIP is just um, being able to form relationships with the people there and just seeing how they change over time. Um, whenever I first went, I was like, oh, this is so great. I get to hang out with these people for a week, and I had no idea that I would keep going back. Um, but the thing that means the most to me now, having seen these people grow for years, is just... Um, just that, seeing them grow. Um, I get to watch them get married and have babies um, and have their quinceaneras and graduate school. Um, and just like to be able to be, be there alongside of them and have that friendship grow over time um, is probably the thing that means the most to me. 
come on a ship trip, bring your friends. <laughs>